hello welcome to the second part of my video in this video i will show you how to create the pdf of your uh, selling slip and send it through email to the relevant person in the earlier email in the earlier video i have shown you how to uh, get the print out of selling slips uh, using vba macro so let's come to the point uh, here is our payroll in this page now i have uh, mentioned email address of each employee and this is the pay slip format in this pay slip i have created a uh, link using vlookup function to this uh, point where email address of each employee has been mentioned okay come to the vba macro alt f11 and now we are in vb editor this is our earlier code now i am going to uh, uh, now we are going to write some more code to create a pdf and to send it through email so there are two objectives one is creating a pdf of this selling slip and saving it in the folder uh, relevant folder where we have this uh, payroll of this month and second send this worksheet through email to the relevant employee okay first of all our first of we have to meet our first objective that is creating a pdf of this worksheet here this is the uh, print out code uh, to get the print out uh, print out of this selling slip uh, i am using apostrophe comma this will uh, change this uh, code to a comment now uh, then our macro will run this uh, our macro will not read this line as a code instead it is a now it is a comment okay uh, create a variable file name okay file name is equal to sheet 2 dot range c3 dot value and is and and range range c4 dot value and double quote dot pdf this so uh, what i have done i have created a variable name file name and what is uh, file name file name is actually sheet 2 dot range c3 dot value hash dash range c4 dot value and dot pdf okay this is a uh, sheet 2 dot range c3 dot value is equal to c3 uh, employee id and range c4 dot value is employee name so uh, when we have will have a pdf file of this uh, worksheet uh, this is this will be the name of that pdf file like uh, employee id dash employee name and that will be a pdf uh, file type will be pdf okay and we have to write this uh, create this variable file name and the next code before this uh, loop function okay sheet 2 dot export as fixed format okay space excel type pdf okay comma file name this workbook dot path and double quote and 
find me. Okay. Uh, what I have done? Sheet two dot export as fixed format Excel type PDF. Export sheet two as a PDF. Okay, and this is the file name. This workbook dot path the path of this workbook in which folder this file payroll file exists slash file name and file name variable created here by us earlier so this line will export this pdf uh, this sheet as a pdf in the same folder where the payroll file exists and the name will be first uh, employee ID and employee employee name okay just test this uh, uh, macro F8 here this is the folder where uh, our payroll file uh, is saved F8 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 F8, 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 F8. here you see one zero zero one and the employee name and this is payroll yes okay uh, if we execute further f8 loop okay ca okay one zero 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 one okay let's stop so here we have met our first objective that creating the pdf of uh, our file our worksheet or seven slip now the second objective is to send this uh, file, this PDF file, to the employee on the email address given here by in given here in this payroll. Okay. For this purpose, you have to. Uh, this is called for Outlook. Okay. You have to go to toolbar. Here reference. In reference, search for Microsoft Outlook. Um, this is a library. Uh, you have to enable this library, and it, these libraries are in alphabetical order. Okay. Here, Microsoft Office Outlook, 16 object library. Here, in uh, I have uh, Office uh, 2016 version, so 16 is here. Uh, it this, this number these numbers depend on the version of your Excel or Office. Check it. Okay. Okay. Now we have to create a, some other variables. Our objective is to uh, send this PDF file using Outlook to the concerned employee at the email address given uh, by him to us in payroll department. Create a variable. And start dim o f as outlook dot application. Another variable dim o mail as object. Okay, I have uh, created o app point o mail. You can use o app. Or application, any name you can use uh, of your own choice. I have used O app and O mail uh, as variable. Okay. Now come to this point. After exporting the P as a PDF, uh, here create new lines. Set O app is equal to new outlook dot application set o mail is equal to o app dot create item zero okay uh, what i have done i have uh, Set O app as a new Outlook application and O mail as an op O app create item like create a new email. Okay. O app dot session. 
function dot log on open outlook application using the default credentials okay this now we have to write this is this is the function to opening the outlook application and creating a new blank email for us now we have to write further uh, the contents of email like uh, email address uh, subject text body uh, body and attachments with o mail uh, it with function is used to optimize our code instead of writing again and again o mail dot e2 uh, o mail dot cc uh, we have just written uh, written with and now uh, using dot to is equal to here we have to uh, mention the email address of the employee instead of writing email address manually i will link to this point where email address will automatically change when the once it will uh, the employee id will change so 2 is equal to range so sorry sheet Two dot range B twenty B twenty dot value okay dot cc if you want uh, to uh, want somebody in cc of this email uh, you can mention the email address of that person otherwise leave it blank dot subject is equal to let's suppose monthly pay slip for the month of october 2016 you even you can uh, link this to the uh, link with uh, this cell and uh, that is b uh, b1 okay dot body i want to uh, make uh, this code very simple for you otherwise we can uh, do formatting even we can do formatting uh, in this uh, body but i want to make it simple so we'll use uh, we'll write this uh, subject uh, with body content please find employees monthly uh, sorry salary slip for the month of october 2016 okay dot attachments dot add this workbook dot path and and file name okay attachment dot add this workbook dot path because i have mentioned earlier that we want to save this pdf in the same folder uh, where the payroll is uh, payroll is located so this workbook dot path and file name what is file name file name is sheet 2 dot range cc employee id and employee name uh, here employee id and employee name and path same path where the payroll file is located okay next is dot display okay display uh, uh you i have you mentioned here display uh, we use we will use display function if we want to uh, uh, see the draft email prior to sending it to the concern employee if you want if we want directly send uh, it to the concern to the relevant employee and we don't want to uh, review the email 
so uh, in that case we can use the word send okay I am using here the word display and now let's check this code F8 And okay, sorry, here we have to write and with because with function has been completed here. F8, 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 F8. Here is our outlook. You see monthly pay slip, pay subject, the email address of the employee, the attachments, and the uh, body. Okay, and uh, now you can send it, or if you want to send it uh, directly instead of reviewing, you can use here what the word send. Okay, proxy code and uh, this function will execute for all the implies and sending the payroll to all the implies. Okay, one more step after this boot function, we have to clear the uh, OA, O app and O mail variable. So clear the memory by using the word set o f is e sorry o f is equal to nothing set o mail is equal to nothing and this is the complete code to send the uh, payroll to the employees using outlook and get the pdf of, of all the salary slips thank you very thank you very much for watching this video uh, and in next video i will show you some extra tips and okay thank you